Next up at the 2020 Florida RV Super Show, we started looking at some smaller RVs. We found a fairly new manufacturer that has its roots in the car business, attracting the attention of luxury Class B and B Plus shoppers. The 2020 Ultra Braum by Regency RV. All right, this is the 2020 Reason CRV 25 IV based on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis. Let's go check it out. All right, so now I'm inside the 2020 Regency RV model 25 IB. For those of you who have not heard of Regency RV, they're a relatively young company. They are about a year and a half years old. They're out of Fort Worth, Texas, and they produce only class B and class B plus or downsized C's. Some with a slide, but most of them without a slide. This particular model does not have a slide. It's about 25 feet long built on the Mercedes chassis. It's on the new 2020 Mercedes chassis. The floor plan is something I really like a lot. The kitchen, two permanent chairs, and the two driving chairs that would turn around to become a lounge area. It's got a virtually a full-size bed in the back as a couple little corners cut off of it. One of the things I really like on the outside of it has a lot of clearance on the back. So if you were backing up over a curb or something, it gives you a lot of flexibility in parking this. And I love that it has storage bays all along both sides of the exterior. Really nice pass-through storage. Beautiful contemporary paint job. It has about a thousand pounds of cargo capacity. Freshwater tank is about 26 gallons. Gray and black tanks are around 37 gallons. Um, but it's only about a thousand pounds of cargo capacity, so that will go kind of quick. Fit and finish seems very high quality. Corian countertops, lit countertops and it has a separate fridge and freezer. Both of them are quite large for the size. The microwave. This is a split bath floor plan. So it has a shower on this side and a sink and toilet on the other side. I really like the split bath idea, especially because this door, when it's open, can actually lock in place right here. What's great about that is it gives you a lot of privacy into the back bedroom area. So this has a fixed bed. It's a permanent bed in here. It has a small step up on either side of it. There is storage underneath the bed and the storage that's underneath these cabinets, it actually provides access to a pass-through storage in the basement. That pass-through storage also has an optional Joey bed, but you keep in mind when you do a Joey bed, you're gonna lose space, but add accessibility as it can pull in and out. But one other little knock I have on it, when you open this cupboard, it does hit the valance. So that was a little bit of a downside. Um, this cupboard's a little difficult to reach, but it's got some good storage, lots of good charging outlets. I like I can still stand up full height, even on this step up into the bedroom. And I'm about five foot eight tall. So this bed is a little bit funny. You're gonna definitely need to have a custom mattress if you ever replace this and custom sheets because not only is it, it is not full length and it has these cornered off ends. But at least being a permanent bed, it would be far more comfortable than some of the convertible ones that are kind of lumpy. So this is a second TV here in the bedroom. The other TV was in the kitchen. This is the half, the other part of the split bath. It's actually quite spacious in here. Doing the toilet test, they put it a little tight against this wall. It could have been slightly turned this way and it would have been a lot better in my opinion. So it was odd that they pointed it this direction. So I'm kind of sitting a little angled on the toilet right now, but it's quite spacious in here when you stand up in a good size sink. On the shower side of the split bath, you pull the door open and latch it in place for privacy in the rear of the coach. There is a mirror on the back of the door the shower itself has a curtain and is quite spacious. We thought the indirect LED lighting was a nice touch as well. Here's all your controls. It does have leveling jacks, has solar charge controller here, generator, I think it's a 3600 watt LP generator, and here's your tank capacities. 
It has a really large circular sink here that's very deep and has induction cooktops. This here is the table as these two front chairs just behind the driving area are the dining area. A post would enter into the floor here and this would rest on top of that. There are additional leaves to make this a larger table. Apparently this converts into a sleeping area as well. This, when not in use, would store in a bag underneath the bed in the rear of the couch. There's a nice skylight above me here to open up for a ventilation in addition to an actual fantastic fan here above the kitchen area. Looking at the dash, this is clearly the 2020 Mercedes Sprinter chassis. It'd be really fun to take this for a drive. MSRP on this unit was around 160,000. They did not list a show price. Regency RV is part of the Wayne Davis Auto Group, which is known for restoring quality American muscle cars. They are known for their fit and finish with custom cabinets crafted in-house and quality exterior paintwork. We really like the quality, style, and aesthetic, and based on the similarities to another very successful Class B and C manufacturer, Leaser Travel Vans, who Regency RV is very clearly aiming to capture some of their market share. For more details and photos on the Regency RV Ultra Braum and other RV tours, visit our blog, rvlove.com. What do you think of the Regency Ultra Braum RV? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're not already a subscriber to our channel, hit that subscribe button and click the bell for notifications of all new videos from RV Love.